Today on Off The Hook, I become a beekeeper. We'll get stung by my beehive. Are they attacking you? <laughs> and I do science. And it all takes place in one of the most amazing Airbnbs we've ever stayed at. The fantasy themed B&B. We all have our favourite fantasy movie, where good meets evil, and the hearts of men defeat evil that curse the lands, and then after the film's finished we come back to reality, and wished that we could live in these lands that we see on the screens. Well down in East Sussex, England, that's exactly what two Airbnb owners have done. They have built their own fantasy Airbnb, which is a fully fledged home. Before we get into today's video guys, I'd like to announce that we are partnered up with MyHeritage. MyHeritage is the leading global service for family history and DNA testing. With over 90 million users online, MyHeritage is easy and fun to track down your family backgrounds. With over 90 million users online and over 19 billion easily searchable historical records at your fingertips, MyHeritage not only makes building your family tree and tracking your family's past easy, but fun as well, with powerful, easy to use tools that can help you grow your online family tree. For me, I've always wanted to know my family's background. I have quite a small family and I have no idea where I come from or how far back my family name goes. And you start by entering uh, your parents and your grandparents' names, and from there, My Heritage makes it easy to track back as far as you can possibly go. With such powerful tools like Insta Discoveries, there's little work for you to actually have to do. As I mentioned, over 19 billion documents and records, My Heritage will link everything up for you instantly with the click of a button. There's also a DNA test that you can take. It arrives in a small package, and you swab each corner of your mouth. Place the sticks back in the packaging and send off to my heritage to expand your search. Okay, so we sent our DNA results off. Now they've come back and we're gonna look at the results. Are you nervous? A little bit. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right, so this is my ethnicity estimate. I'm 75.9% English, 14% Irish, Scottish, and Welsh and 9.5% Balkan, oh. and 7,766 distant relatives. That's a lot of Christmas cards, isn't it? It is. What about you, what do you get? Should I have a look at mine? Have a look at yours. Oh, you're more British than me. I'm 81.2% English, and I'm 18.8% North and West European. 15,000. 15. DNA matches, nearly 15,000 DNA matches for Will. If you guys want to track down your family's past, I strongly recommend using my heritage. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen and use the coupon code HOOK for free shipping. Guys, go make an account at my heritage and track down your past. It's so much fun and who knows what you could find. And if you think the outside is amazing, inside's even better. Solid oak furnishings, two bedrooms with two ensuite showers, and a starry night sky painted across the living room ceiling. This place really does take you out of your world and into another. And we couldn't wait to get inside. So where are we? We are deep in the middle of the countryside. Because you told me to dress country, so I got up no, my best sort of... No, what I said was dress for the country. You, you are now dressed like a farmer. Oh, I 
I should explain things better. This is it. Oh, look at that. Oh, done a good job, haven't they? That is phenomenal. Amazing. Every piece of wood, or the windows, everything's been custom made to get the aesthetic right. It's all right, isn't it? It's so cool. It is so cool. And it's not up a tree. No, I'm picking my first room. Do you know what? I take it all back. You can book all of them from now on. Yes? Yeah. Are you happy? Look at that door. I know. Just it's look at solid it. oak. It's... Everything's oak. Oh, it's so it's good. Oak. It's so good. Everybody yes. knows. Oh, can I open it? Can I be the first one? You can open okay. it, yes, yes. He's, He's going to make this bad boy. See how heavy the door is? Dude. Oh, oh what? Look, look at, at this. this. I want to live here now. Ceiling. That's insane. It is insane. Like I actually feel like I'm in a fantasy. <laughs> As you saw outside, there's a massive vineyard. There is. Wow, this is a very stern wooden chair. <laughs> what was that? It's sort of sliding sort of you. Yes. <laughs> this chair is encouraging the gay rumours. This is this, this is a chair for Netflix and chill. As you watch, you just start to make your way slowly over. The wine, uh, they, they do many wines here, don't they? They do red wines, all sorts. And we are going to taste the wine that was made on this land. Here's your slag. So do you like my flannel top or not? Is it flannel? They call it flannel, don't it's they? It is a flannel, yeah. yeah. It's fine if you're a 16-year-old skater. Do you know what else I've got planned for us today? I mm. have looked into other mm. things that you can do during your stay in this Airbnb, certain experiences. We are going to learn how to make wine because they have a distillery. Is it called a distillery? What's it I called? I think it's a winery. A winery. Yes, they have a winery a in the basement. And um, I'm going to get you out on those fields working. So you brought me here to work. Mm -hmm. And I am going to go and apparently make some honey with some bees. Mm. We're using that hot tub later. Did you see it? Yes, we are. <sighs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh. To work! B&B was amazing, but there were experiences on site that you could also take part in. The first was making my own wine. All right, so we're gonna go make some wine now. And here's the man, Nick. Good to see, see you. you. Yes. How are you? Very good. Very nervous. I don't are want to you, ruin your crop. Are you, are you ready? I'm ready. What is that? This is a baton. A baton? Yeah, with a baton. What we're going to be doing is what's called batonnage. This okay. is where we're going to mix up the lees. Sounds violent. In the wine. No, no, no. It's not okay. violent at all. It's actually very, very gentle. So take hold of the baton. Oh, I'm doing this. Right. right. Now you've got, to, you've got to undo the bung. Okay. Pull the bung out and just put it to the side. Oh, stiff. Excellent, all right. And then what we have to, wait, well, we're gonna get the wine. Lovely wine there. <laughs> and now we're gonna gently insert the baton in. This thing will move. So you just put it in the top there, try it. Just lower it in. Lower it in, and we're gonna get it all, all the way to the bottom. <laughs> there we go, all right. Oh, that's in. Oh, now, how'd you, right. Now what we're gonna do is you've gotta use this wrist as a fulcrum, right? So you're gonna bring that fulcrum. all the way down to the bottom here. That's it, right? And now, first thing you've gotta do Gonna move it from side to side because we're gonna move, disturb these leaves. Oh yeah. You're doing good. Can you see? Oh, the leaves are starting it, to mix up. And yeah, I yeah, can yeah, see yeah. it. Oh yeah. Oh, oh I you're see. doing good. I've got to get the shape. You've got to get the shape, right? Everyone does this differently, by the way. Yeah. I think I do it different for most. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're doing good. You're doing good. You're Whoever bought is this particular barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whilst I was making tasty, well-aged wine, Will was meant to be learning how to weed and treat the orchards. See, I'm actually making some progress. See, they all doubt me all the time. But, I mean, look how much I've done. It's taking me, what, hour and a half? I've got this made. No problem. Whilst Will was pretending like he was working, I was not only working, but learning. I am a wine connoisseur. I had entered the laboratory of the winery, and I was learning the true science behind making pure wine. Right. Mission accomplished. Well, 
Yes. <laughs> when do I drink it? <laughs> but the next activity was about to go devastatingly wrong as I geared up to make honey. The bees are around here somewhere. I can hear them. So apparently they have like a line from the hive, which is over here and they go out over the countryside and back. And if you cross through that line, they get a bit annoyed. I have to, because I've got to go get my suit on. Bloody hell. There's thousands of them. Oh my Lord. Is the bees attacking you? <laughs> no, don't do that. No, no, no. They're everywhere. I don't like that. Ah! <laughs> Is it, is it in your shirt? Is it in your shirt? I can't get rid of it! Bro! Are they attacking you? Are you kidding? Are you joking? Did it sting you? Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's for making fun of me. There. Is it stinger? Oh my god. It went through my shirt. Look. It stung me right in the chest. Wow. <sighs> are you good? You're not allergic, are you? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> it's trapped in your shirt. Oh, it's there. It's there. Oh my god. Dude, it thinks your shirt is an enemy. Oh, fuck! Fuck that, fuck that, I'm out, I'm out! Did that hurt? Ah, fuck! Shit, fuck! Fucking hell! That's fucking insane! Well, well. Honestly, that. no. That's where I got stung. Feel it? It's not uh, that bad. I, that was just walking past. You, you, you fucked. <laughs> <laughs> the bees had made it clear that they were angry and hated Will more than me in my beekeeper's suit. I shouldn't have had that Chinese last night. She said to me, with the head thing, don't do this. Because then the bees, they can like sting your nose and lips and eyes. So just make sure it's like that. I'm just waiting for some gloves. And then, um, yes, my first bee harvest. Oh, you see, they all come here because they can see ah. that you have honey. Just carrying a pint of sugar for a bee farm. Here? They're just hashing the oh, eggs. Oh yeah. You can see them. You can see them actually coming out of here. Look yeah. at this guy. It's pretty cool. This is the most it, amazing sensation I've ever felt. Bees hitting my head. I want to open that one for me. It doesn't have anything inside. Probably one or two. Ah, okay. How do we open I'm these things? Just take the, take the log, log off. Everything was going really well and I hadn't yet broken any of her expensive beehives. Oh, oh shit, I see. Okay. This is the most interesting sensation I've ever felt. The bees were getting angry with everyone, so we had to wrap this up as soon as possible. You're very good. You're very yeah? Fine. How was my first go? You're very good. Well done. Put we'll clap bees together. Don't, don't take your clothes off. No. Because you're going to walk a little bit. I'm probably going to wear them home just to be safe. <laughs> God, they're attacking them. <laughs> I wouldn't go near me. I'm currently... They're literally chasing me away from the hive, but I wasn't stung. How many times were you stung? Yeah? It's made my day, that. I made some honey. And here it is the produce of a hard day's labor and many stings. And we liked the fact that there was more to do here than just chill at the B&B. And after braving the bees, I felt like I deserved a long hard rest for a full day's work. 
whilst Will put ice on his nipple. Of all the B&Bs we get to stay at, this was by far the most creative. And even though it whisked you away to a fantasy, you felt like you were at home. This B&B was truly out of this world. Until next time. Don't forget to create your account at MyHeritage, scan our QR code and use the promo code HOOK for free shipping.